Hi everybody and welcome to your Pilates at work class. This is a 30 minute class where we're going to be moving, gently moving the body. This is not a training. I'm taking into account that you are behind a desk and you don't have much space. So most exercises will be done sitting on a chair and then we'll bring the chair beside the table. If you can't, you'll be able to do the exercises anyway. So this class is a 30 minute for you. It is for you to be feeling better. There are a lot of research uh, demonstrating that exercises moving are good to relieve stress in your body and in your mind. I also know that when we're not feeling good, we don't feel like moving. So this is why I'm going slow and it's going to, I'm going gently with the body. We'll be testing the exercises by doing arm arcs and turning the head. I will be doing that quite frequently, frequently during the class because I want you to feel and to observe the effect of very small movements. Enjoy the class. Make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. Now bring your shoulders to your ears, up, 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 and just let them fall. Up, 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 let go. Up, 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 let go. One more time, up, 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 up. Turn your head one side and the other and check how your head is moving today, how far it goes, if you have any tensions. Bring your head back to center. Arms up, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. And let's do this a couple of times. I don't know if you know that your lungs are not really at the front of your body, they're more at the back of your body. So when you inhale, think of sending the air into the back of your body, upper back. Let's go for two. And one. And relax. Okay, now we're gonna do three movements and we'll try to do them at the same time. So as you bring your head back, you lift a shoulder and you turn your head towards that shoulder and you gently let go. Bring your head back, lift the shoulder, turn your head towards that shoulder and let go gently. Head back, lift and turn. Relax, head back, lift and turn, relax, head back, turn and lift that shoulder, let go. Let's go for two, up, turn and lift, relax, head back, turn and lift and relax. Turn your head to one side and the other to check the effect of that movement on your neck. There has to be a difference. Okay, bring your head back to center. Inhale up, exhale down, and repeat a couple of times. I'm sure you're gonna feel some kind of a release or relief in your shoulders, better movement. And I guess that the inhale is easier on that side too. Yeah, okay. The other side, head back, shoulder up, turn your head and relax. Head back, shoulder up, turn your head, relax. Back, up and turn, relax. Head back, shoulder up, turn, relax. Let's go for four. Mm -hmm. And 
and three, two, one more, back up and turn and relax. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Now feel your rib cage expanding with less effort. Feel your shoulders moving more freely. Let's go for two. One more. And down. Let's check the neck. Turn your head to one side and the other. I can see that Anae's neck is moving further to each side. Let's go for two, one, and back to center. Bring your arms up to the front, but not higher than your shoulders. Be careful with that. And you're going to bring your shoulder blades together, and you're going to separate your shoulder blades. Exhale to bring them together, and inhale. Exhale together, Inhale, apart. Continue the movement with the breath. And you're going to notice that your arms are going back with your shoulder, shoulder blades and they're going forward with your shoulder blades because your arm bone inserts into your shoulder blades. So when we're moving our shoulder blades, the shoulders and arms follow. Let's go for four. And when we have tension between our shoulder blades, the first thing we want to do is stretch. Yes, that's good, but that is a temporary measure. What you want to be doing is a working, building strength in those muscles between your shoulder blades. And when we bring them together, that's what we're doing and relax okay shake up your arms okay bring your shoulders to your ears and just drop them lift your shoulders drop lift your shoulders and drop turn your head to one side and the other and check for more mobility more range of movement less tension and bring your head back to center. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Let's go for two. And one more. Okay, now we're gonna glide our shoulder blades up and it's gonna bring your shoulders and your arms up and bring your shoulder blades down and up and down so when people are looking at us doing this exercise they think that we're lifting our shoulders up and down yes it happens but really i want you to move from your shoulder blades yeah that's it exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up one more time down and relax shake your arms turn your head to one side and the other can you feel better movement it's always getting better and better with each movement bring your head back to center inhale arms up exhale down inhale arms up Exhale down, one more time up and down. You're going to bring your arms in a T shape. One uh, hand facing up, the other one facing back. Keep your weight equal on both uh, sides of your pelvis, on your two buttocks. And on the inhale, you're going to go, you're going to move your rib cage towards the arm that is facing up. Bring back to center. Switch your arms and go the other way. Switch other way. Yeah. 
So you could inhale to one side and exhale going to the other side. So this is a shoulder movement, working the rotator cuff and the spine at the same time. Now, if you can't keep your arms at this height, bring them to a 45 degree angle. Yeah, so that could be an option. And if you can have your arms in a T shape, go ahead with this way. Let's go for eight, seven, six, and try to keep your weight equal on your pelvis. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, shake it out. Now bring your, your hands on your uh, rib cage. If you can't, that's okay. Just let your arms hang to your side. You're gonna bring your rib cage to one side like we just did, then to the back, other side, and the front. And you're gonna be drawing circles with your rib cage. So imagine you're drawing the circles on your chair with your rib cage. Inhale when you go to the back and exhale going to the front. Inhale in your upper back, exhale going to the front. Now let's go for four. So we're moving the spine here. Two. And one. Other side. Inhale back. Exhale to the front. Inhale going back. Exhale to the front. Let's go for a six. And five. Four three, two, and one more, and relax, shake it out, turn your head to one side and the other side. You should be getting more motion at your neck, bring your head back to center, inhale arms up, Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, one more time, up and down. Okay, next exercise. It's gonna feel like magic, but it's based on science. You're gonna imagine you have uh, some ink on the top of your hand, and with two fingers, you're gonna try to rub it off. So you, you're rubbing it off. You're, there's some pressure, but you go gently anyway. And we're um, mobilizing the bones of your wrist. The bones of your wrist are in your hands. There are eight of them. Four. Three, two, one, and relax. Now feel this. Take a few seconds. You can close your eyes. Can you feel that that shoulder is lower or more relaxed? Shoulder blade has dropped. You might feel that your arm is longer than the other one, and you can even check it out just bring your arms in front of you and see if your arm is longer than the other one. Turn your head to one side and the other. And observe your neck. And bring your head back to center. Can you feel something releasing in your jaw? Your eye on that side. If you don't, it's okay, and if you do, it's great. Inhale, arms up. 
exhale down and I'm pretty sure you feel a big difference in both of your shoulders right now moving and you can probably also feel your rib cage opening wider on that side or feeling just feeling the movement of your ribs one more time up and down other side so we're, the intention is to rub off the ink that we have movements are quick there is some kind of pressure and relax okay feel your shoulders your jaw your eye your arm do you feel that it is as long as the other one if you want to check bring your arms in front of you okay turn your head one side and the other feel that I can feel it and I can see that Anna is feeling it too I know her I can read her reactions inhale arms up exhale down isn't that wonderful inhale up and down one more time up and down you can stay behind your desk for the second portion of the class Anna is sitting beside so that you can uh, really see what she's doing so we're going to start with uh, the exercise called cat cow so you're going to round your back like a cat and you're going to arch your back on the inhale exhale round back inhale and arch and feel that you're moving on your pelvis in fact your pelvis is tilting here and you're gonna feel your back muscles when you arch and you should feel your some of your abdominals when you go into uh, the cat rounding its back yep that's it and feel that you're moving on your sitting bones and your lower back is meant for extension yeah let's go for four and three inhale in your upper back one more time rounding and arching and come back to neutral between the two okay Anae has removed her shoes and her socks if you can do so we're going to be working our toes and the muscles underneath our feet now for people who have uh, uh, flat feet you won't like the next exercises but they're good for you and you'll have to believe me on this one and we're going to work one foot at a time so that you can uh, see what it's what is going to happen to your neck so let's start with the first one that we call scrunch so you're going to pull on a towel and pull 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 and pull so you're going to feel the bottom of your foot arching while you're doing that and this is where people with fat flat feet uh, don't like it but do as much as you can uh-huh and you're going to start feeling that in your front leg and you can feel some action also in your calf 
and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Foot flat on the floor and lift all of your toes and down, up and down, up and down. So we're flicking the toes up, up, down, up, down, up, down. And if you're watching your screen, you're going to see that Anna is looking at her toes because it helps. Um, it helps with the movement. And if you don't need to watch your toes, just have your eyes on the horizon. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to combine the scrunch and flick. Scrunch and flick, scrunch, flick, scrunch and flick, scrunch, flick, scrunch, flick. And continue with that one. Yep, you're gonna feel your muscles under your foot, top of your foot, calf, front of leg, side of the leg. Scrunch, flick, scrunch, flick. Eight, seven, six, five. I know that these are not very popular in North America but the muscle in your feet are as important as your abdominals. Two, and one, and relax. Okay, now all toes up. You're gonna bring down the little toe, the next one, next one, next one, the big one. Up with all of your toes, small one, Next, 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 big toe, up, small one, next, 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 big one, up, small, next, 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 big one, one more time, small, next, 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 and big one. Shake your arms. Just check if you can feel a difference in the height of your shoulder, something at your jaw, maybe the side of your face, that side of your face, and maybe you don't feel nothing and that's okay. Turn your head to one side and then the other and see if there's a difference. Do you feel something different, Anae? She does, okay. Bring your head back to center, arms up, inhale, exhale down, repeat this with the breath and can you feel a difference in your shoulders, shoulder blades, one more time, up and down. Okay, let's do the other foot, so let's pull on that towel, scrunch, 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 scrunch. Okay, now, if you want to do those uh, while you have a meeting, you can do that very discreetly because it's happening under the table. You can remove your shoes. You can do it with your socks on. And you can do both feet at the time. Today, I did one foot at a time because I wanted you to, uh, to see that there is an effect right up to your neck. Usually I do both feet. So let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now flick your toes down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So you're gonna feel muscles in the foot, the lower leg, back, front, sides. So we're flicking the toes. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
four, three, two, and one. Scrunch and flick, scrunch and flick, scrunch and flick. We're combining the two first exercises. Scrunch, flick, scrunch, flick, scrunch, flick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out your arms, check your shoulders, your face, your jaw. Turn your head to one side and the other. Can you feel that? If you don't, it's okay. It comes with practice. Bring your head back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Let's go for two. And one. And hands on your thighs. And let's round our back on the exhale. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch. Feel the pelvis tilting. Let's go for four. Three. Two and one and back to neutral center. Bring one arm up in front of you. If you can't hold your arm this way because of a shoulder problem, just let your arm hang beside your body or bend your elbow and bring your hand to your shoulder, whatever is convenient for you. Now bring your arm up, turn arm down and back up. So we're making circles with the arm and let the arm guide the rib cage. So you're gonna feel that you need to be turning towards the back to let the arm go back. So inhale up and back and exhale back down. Try as much as possible to keep your weight equal on your buttocks. Let's go for four. And three. Two. And one and relax shake it out turn your head one side and the other feel that bring your head back to center inhale up exhale down now here you must feel a big difference when you inhale so working the rib cage has a positive effect on your shoulders neck and your breath bring your arms back down let's do the other side Inhale, up and turn. Exhale to the front. And repeat. Keeping your weight equal on your pelvis, both sides. And on the inhale, think of your upper back, where your lungs are. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Check your shoulders, your jaw, face, 
Turn your head one side and the other. Compare. Bring your head back to center. Inhale up. Feel how your ribs are opening without no more effort, just effortlessly. One more time up and down. Okay, one of my favorites when we're sitting on a chair, you're gonna bring one leg back, the other one to the front. And the leg at the back, you're gonna be on the ball of your foot. You're gonna lean forward and you're gonna press into the floor to get halfway up and back down with control. Inhale, up, exhale, down. If you wanna exhale to go up, you can do that and inhale to go back down. Whatever you choose is good. You should feel that you're working more the leg that is at the back. You should feel your glute. You should feel also some work at the crease of your bum. Last week, we did with the foot flat on the floor. And today, we're having uh, the heel raised up because it's going to be uh, gentler on uh, your knee this way. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. And let's switch the legs. Lean forward, press into the floor to get halfway up and back with control. And repeat. Feel for your buttock, your glute max. Crease of your bum is your hamstrings. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, and down. Bring both feet flat on the floor. And on the exhale, round your back. On the inhale, arch. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch. Let's go for two. One more. And relax. I hope you enjoyed this 30-minute class. See you next week.